All right, this is a letter that I am adding to the course on the request of one of the students taking this course, and it's a great idea, so thank you for that. The request uh, by the student is a request for interview feedback after being rejected for a job position, right? So this is for you as a candidate or an applicant for a job. So you've had the interview and you have been rejected for the position that you applied for. And now you want to find out why you've been rejected so that you can learn and grow professionally. And in your next interview for another position, you can do better, right? And it's a good idea for another reason as well. And we'll get to that at the end of the letter here. So the subject line is just request for interview feedback. Now, I don't think that you need to say after being rejected, right? You don't need to say that in the subject line. This is good enough. So it's dear whoever it is, thank you for letting me know your decision, all right? So you start off polite so that the uh, reader of this letter knows that it's not going to be um, you getting angry that you didn't get the position, it's not going to be bitter, and you're not begging them to change their mind, because guess what? They're not going to change their mind. Um, especially not if you ask them, uh, why didn't you hire me? Uh, you should really reconsider. I please reconsider, right? You don't want to do any of that because, um, that never works. All right. So start off polite. Thank you for letting me know your decision. I am, of course, disappointed not to be offered the position, but nevertheless, I appreciated the opportunity to meet you and learn about whatever the company's name is, and I respect your decision. All right, so it's respectful, it's polite, but you're also letting them know that you are disappointed, right? That you weren't just pretending that you wanted the job, <laughs> right? That you actually did want the job in the first place. Because if you then say something like, yeah, you know, I didn't want the job really anyway. <laughs> if you say that, then um, you come across as uh, very fake and they're not going to want to have anything to do with you in the future. And your networking opportunities or possibilities are definitely gone at that point. So let's continue. If possible, I'd love any feedback about my interview skills and any suggestions you may have on how I could enhance my value as a candidate for further opportunities. I am always looking to improve and I appreciate your insight. So here you're continuing the positivity, right? You always wanna be positive even under these circumstances. You want to let them know that you have a growth mindset and you really do want to improve, right? You want this feedback. Uh, why do you want the feedback? Because there may be something that you are not aware of uh, when you go for interviews. And if they are kind enough to let you know what that is and then you're able to improve upon that, then you can absolutely benefit from their feedback, right? So you want to be polite, you want to be respectful, and you want to be positive here. And then you say, please feel free to keep my details in your file in case another position becomes available that you think I may be a good fit for. Thank you again for your time and consideration. Yours sincerely. So here, this is one key that you may not have thought of. So you're not begging for them to reconsider. 
However, because you've been positive, because you have been respectful and appreciative, and because you have shown that you are willing to grow and improve professionally and that you're still interested and that you're authentic, maybe, just maybe, they will give you a call when another position does open up. It could even be the same position that you applied for, right? Maybe a month or two down the road, the candidate that they did hire didn't work out, right? Something happens there. And then instead of going through the whole interview process again, they might just give you a call back and say, you know what, we really um, loved the way you responded when we uh, did not hire you, <laughs> so much so that we want to hire you now, right? It has happened in the past. And not only that, but they may be in contact with other people in the industry that you're interested in, and they could even put a good word in for you. After they give you some, some advice on how to improve, they might just put in a good word for you in the network that you need to be circulating in, right? So, if you get a rejection uh, after an interview, then this is a good response, okay? You don't want to just uh, ignore them. You don't want to be negative. You don't want to beg. Do this, all right, my friend? All right, I will see you in the next lecture.